bit um curious. Hold I'll on. Just call that. We're back. I told y'all we could do it very fast. It was three minutes and we're back already. Okay, now let's find out before we get started on any kind of storytelling and whatnot. Let's make sure that we have volume is okay. Are we okay? So now we're on YouTube sitting horizontal and we're on Facebook vertical up on the phone. We can see comments from both of you guys. Yes, we're back. Now, could you check the phone because it's a smaller font? I'll watch the computer. Uh, Facebook and YouTube. Can you guys hear us clearly? Check one, two. Check one, three. two. Yes. Bueller, Bueller, can you all hear us? You're reading up here, babe, right? Yeah. I'm reading down here. I, okay. So I'm seeing lots of hey, yes, perfect. Okay. So YouTube seems to be completely fine. There's no problems with the YouTube at all. Facebook How's is good. Yay. Okay. Well, then we problem solved that and you all did it with us. Thank you so very much for helping us on that little issue. Now, remember, uh, in case anyone's joining us now for the first time, just remember that we are going to have to figure out how to simplify our lives. You get it? Our live videos. Lester's and laughing because he always says, we have to simplify our life, Jamie. We have to simplify our life. I'm all about making things simpler, like, not more complicated. Yeah, now, now you just got to use that pun on about social media lives instead of our physical lives. It's true. It's true. I'm a smart guy, and I love showing how smart I am. Not really. I'm not that smart, actually. You know what else that you love to show? What? Your panties? Yeah. That was an accident. No one knew. Hold on. That's Candace. But why is she screaming for? I don't know. But I hear her mama. I hear Candace and her mom yelling, and I don't know why, but I they stop, so everything's fine. It they could have been separated. It happens a lot. They get separated. Because and Candace loves to hang out with Ringo. Candace loves Ringo, and then Ringo will go off to nap. He takes lots of naps. And while Ringo's off napping, Candace will lay down beside him and just stare at him. She just loves to stare at Ringo while he sleeps. Uh kind of like watching your grandpa sleep, I guess. Uh, who does that? But anyway, Candace all of a sudden look around and her mom will be gone. Mom and her brothers are gone. And she's like, she's like in her own little world. And all of a sudden she's like, and Ringo's no help. He ain't going to get from his nap. Ringo will not get up and go help her at all. So she begins to scream. Then mom has to scream and come back and find her. It's the cutest thing. Which is what she's doing, I think. But Candace's mom is um, sissy. Sissy is sissy. Yeah. So you going to go check. I hear them still screaming, so I will go check just to be safe, but I shall be right back. Do not talk mess about me while I'm gone, because I will find out. The same way you all tattletail on me when I went in the greenhouse, I can guarantee you they're going to tattletail back on you if you talk mess about me. You know what's funny? It's actually no one tattletailed about you going in my greenhouse. When were you in my greenhouse? I'll be right back. That goat is really screaming. Mm. <laughs> funny. Funny story. What were you doing in my greenhouse? Should I robot walk across? <laughs> that robot will not help you in this circumstance at all. Yeah. So, you know, Lester likes to peep at me. He stole my fun of peep patting. I peep at him quite often because, let's just face it, it's hilarious. And he starts peep patting me. Fine. I don't mind it. Except for today, I get, like, messages. Jamie. Lester P. patted you this morning, and you might want to go see it. Ha, 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 fun and games. And typically, I get four or five messages that say, we saw you on the P-Pat video this morning. But today was, like, excessive messages of, Jamie, Lester P. patted you this morning, and you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Now, there's a lot of times where I would, like, take my own advice of, like, you know what? Just don't look and just... Just act like it didn't happen. <sighs> Except for I looked. And not only did he do it and catch it on film, he talked about it. And he talked about it and he talked about it. Because I think he was in his own disbelief of what had happened. Now, in my defense, when I walked back up, he told me and I was like, huh, like whatever. Like how bad could it be? It wasn't that bad. Like you see more when you, when someone wears a bikini and I'll just say this, thank God I was wearing them. Um, 
But for all the people like, Jamie Astor, start wearing shorts under your dresses. No, it's hot in Texas, okay, first of all. But second of all, even if I wore, like, <laughs> volleyball shorts or things like that, you're still going to see everything y'all saw today. So many apologies for my bending overness. Um, I think it was sweet you were picking up trash the dogs had drug around, and you never would have known I was videoing you. If you had known, you would have been more that's true. prim and proper and stuff, not just bend right over and drop it like it's hot in front of however many people were watching a lot. But uh, no, I'm just glad you're wearing panties. and uh, Success. Not like none of we eaten none of seen, never seen panties before. No. Anyway, Candace was out of the pasture. We have us another uh, escape artist. Candace has been getting out I a knew lot something lately. Wasn't right. Well, she found her way out, but just to explore because goats are like that, but could not find her way back in. You so. know who you know is surprising of who was out today? Goliath was out. He's a big boy. Yeah. Do you know how hard it was oh. to be completely wet and one handed? Because, of course, I'm videoing this event and trying to pick up a goat that is running from every step I make. And then Trixie's right there with me. And I accidentally called her Maggie in the middle of it because she was very much hurting like Matt. Like it was a full blown circus of what was happening out there. But Carla reminds everybody that you did pick up that trash and put it right on the hood of my truck. Who does that? We have so many trash cans around here. There's a trash can in every building, multiple trash cans here in the shop. I came and back she later. put that trash right on top of my truck. Who does that? Hold on. I came back later, but what I did. Oh my want... gosh. Milkweed reminds us of the horse dismounting video and all that you revealed that day. Yeah. You got an entire side boob in that one. <laughs> There's no shame anymore. There's just. Go ahead. What were you saying about the trash? That I picked up the trash afterwards off of your truck. I just didn't want the dogs to take it further into the pasture or anything like that or to swallow it or who knows what was going to happen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Now, um, and as far as this eclipse tomorrow, I'm just answering a few questions. Oh, I was I was still, the horse video was hilarious. The oh, horse, you keep going, keep going. The horse video, for anybody that didn't see it, I don't even think it's up anymore because I think I took it down, but... It was my very first time in my whole life getting off of a horse, like ever. It was Bucky's for my birthday. Lester got them all saddled up in this teeny tiny little kid saddle. And I don't know if you know this, but I don't have a kid booty. So getting that, off that of that was a thing, saddle that came with the horse. Just it FYI. Was. So as I'm stepping down from him, I'm. I'm like draped over him. He's such a great horse. He's standing still. All the things were fine, but I'm nervous because it's my first time. It's high. I'm not agile like a cat. And my bra and shirt get caught on the horn of the saddle and it stays up top and my body does not. Ta and Tamara says, what was the trash? We're all dying to know what was all that trash and who, who do you think got it all out? I, I, it was definitely dogs. The dogs got that out of the greenhouse, but, um, there were, it wasn't the chicken outfits, was it? No, it was, seed, oh. it was seed packets and, um, um, uh, some, some label things and a few other things. Why? Don't, no, I'm just curious. Donna reminds everybody that they've already seen my underwear plenty of times, especially when Carl, uh, pulled my pants down. Thank you, Donna. And you also dressed me in a cop uniform that was not a real cop. It's a kind of a dancing cop who dances for money. I wore that uniform too. At girly events. Yes. And so I, you've all, you've seen Jimmy and I both in we quite revealing outfits. Jimmy, we have no shame. It's just, we have no shame whatsoever. Hey, Larry. The thing is, is Larry that we're Villers. real people. Like, oh no, now your phone's going to die. You didn't even charge your phone for this? Well. I do have a charger right here, but my phone doesn't work. The charger port doesn't work. I have to, it's a long story. Uh, yeah, we, I, I don't, I don't know if any other channel shares as much as what you and I do. And I'm okay with that. I, Here's the thing. We, we got to, we got to stand out in some way. Jamie. We're as real as it comes. We're like open books. <laughs> we are open books. When they say I'm an open book. No, you're not open book. We're open books. I use dude wipes. <laughs> and I flush them. No, you don't. If you Gosh, are. Gosh darn it. Yes, I do. I do. What's the We are going to have plumbing problems. They're going to get okay. stuck. Okay. Okay. Quick question. They Quick don't question. Dissolve. Time out. Are you actually suggesting 
that everybody else who uses wipes Take them and do what with them? Throw them in the trash. You don't take wipes and throw them in the trash. Yes, you do. If I ever walk into the bathroom and I find dirty wipes in the trash can, that might be the end of okay. our Look, relationship. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Jamie's right. Do not flush. Do not flush. Every plumber on earth will tell you do not flush. Even if they say flushable, every plumber, specifically because we have a septic. We do not have plumbing that is made for wipes. They don't dissolve. Thank you, Ivy. No, she's agreeing with me. She's not. Thank you, sweetie. I've been on this earth about 10 years longer than you have, which means I've probably been doing things, adult type things for... About 10 years longer than you have. I hope you're doing adult type things to earn money to fix the plumbing. Well, guess what? In all of my adult life, we've never, ever, ever had to pay for a plumber to come out. You've never had dude wipes. Ever. Okay, time out. I'm just going to go ahead and clarify this. Jamie thinks in her, in her mind, life begins. My life began the day she met me. You've been doing it wrong, Margie says. Thank you, Margie. Life. People do put trash bags in their trash cans, and then you take the trash out if it's something gross, because that is what adulting is. Look at all the people. So far, the, if there was a poll that I could put up here to, like, give you a vote, I know I'm right about this. Like, a million trillion percent know I'm right. Do you not remember when Ellie flushed paper towels down the toilet? Paper towels? Do they do not, Jamie, they say flushable. They say flushable. Now, granted, you don't want to use 15 or 20 of them. Duh. But if you use one, they flush. And they are Tomorrow's flush question of the day is 100%. Do you flush <laughs> flushable wipes or do you not flush? Thank flushable you. You wipes? have to include flushable wipes. That's the I key will. word. I will. Because the wipes that we're using are flushable. They're not paper towels that absorb They're water. They're lying. They're lying. That is a lie. That is a marketing play. I cannot believe we're going to get onto a live and argue about dude wipes. Dude wipes. I've never seen so many comments supportive of my thing. There's not one Big, um, that says. Because the guys are not commenting. Guys, get on there and tell her that if that we don't need to use 15 of them to clean. One is f plenty. You know, it used to have to have special toilet paper for septic, the same way we do for the RV, right? In some countries, they still can't flush anything, Jamie. They're smarter than us. Google it, Lester. Call the plumber. We have a plumber. Call the plumber. Ask him. Well, first of all, we don't have a plumber. We have an electrician who serves as a plumber who's never had to help us with plumbing because he's our electrician, but his truck says plumbing. So are you talking about that guy? <laughs> you mean that guy? I'm talking about the HVAC guy. The guy yeah, that guy. <sighs> I know that we have to find something more entertaining to talk about. If we sit here and spend the entire live arguing over is it okay to flush dude wipes? Even though the package says flushable. This, this lady says we spent $1,500 to unclog ours from wipes. How many are y'all using, ma'am? I mean, not kind of be mean under or T. I'm not asking for too much information, but how many are you using? I mean, yeah, if you're like. Why do you make scooping motions whenever you show wipes? I don't. This, I don't like, know what, what is. I don't. In I'm, what part of your body? And, I'm cleaning or a baby. whose body I'm doing are a, you doing I'm that a to? A baby's hiney. I'm doing a. That's what I really need to know. Like this is a baby's hiney. I'm doing a baby's hiney. Why is it sideways? I don't know. I'm holding one leg up and I'm wiping the baby's hiney. Where's it going? Because it feels like it's going up his leg. I never pictured what direction the baby's facing, Jamie. You just need to stop. You need to find a way to change the subject. Just change the gosh darn subject, please. I feel like I'm putting the baby's leg. I feel leg like down. that that TikTok where they're like, <laughs> do a generational mo generational motion. You know, like answer the phone, answer the phone, Lester. You want me to actually do this? I do. I want you to answer the phone. Answer a phone like in a in a like in a charade. Yeah. 
Okay. Hang up the phone. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing at me? Because oh, now I'm doing that wrong too, no, I guess. No, you're doing it exactly the way I would do it. But, okay, next one. Roll down a car window. Well, it'd be this window. <laughs> or if I'm going to lean way over there. <clears throat> Unlock a car. Unlock the door? Yeah, from the inside. Okay. Do the dishes. Do you mean like wash dishes? Wash dishes. Okay. Take a picture. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> what else? What else you got for me? Dial a phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh brush your teeth yeah see uh so the thing is is uh, the tiktok shows generational differences so they show someone in our generation and then they show someone in a like lex's generation and when the kids pick up the phone they're like this and they put it up to their ear because they're holding it and when they hang up they're like this and oh, then, because it's cell phones. Because yes. they don't know about our phones. They have no idea. And then whenever they dial a phone, they do this to their phone and then put it up to their ear. And then roll down a window is a button. They have no idea what this motion is right here. I don't know where you're going with this, but I can tell you one thing. There ain't no generational differences in wiping. A wipe is a wipe is a wipe. The same way. You just brought it back to that. I was way past that. No, you're trying to say that I have a generational, I'm too old for everybody. No one knows how to wipe except I'm the only old school wiper. I'm an old school wiper. That is and not. I'm saying I'm not an old school wiper. Wiping has not changed since the beginning of time. What we used to wipe has probably changed to plenty. I don't know about wiping with corn cobs. And Sweet I never want to learn. Jesus, I never I was use, over that. I've never used a corn cob to wipe, okay? And I hope to God I never will. <laughs> but if what happens tomorrow... Is true. We may all be using corn cobs before you know it, or across the grass like the dogs. We may be out <laughs> like dogs. And <in> the... <laughs> if tomorrow the whole world shuts down, we'll be out across in our grass. I hope this grass is nice and thick, and there's no stinging grass. We do not want any thistle or any of that other stuff in our grass. I hope that the grass is nice and thick, Jamie. If tomorrow is the end. I mean, the few wipes that Tomorrow I have, I got, I got my dude wipes. Comes. I'm fine for, there's a 50 pack. I'm good for 49 more days. <laughs> well, I used one over there at, to demonstrate what they were. All I'm saying. Anywho, where can we, can we please? I was over please, it. You took it back. Please change the subject fast. Head. Change the subject fast, please. Hair on my lip. <laughs> crazy and wild things happened yesterday here. Like crazy, crazy things happened yesterday that I caught on video and, and couldn't believe I caught it on video. And then ran over to Lester to go, you're never going to believe. What oh, just happened. this is not even crazy. This is cringeworthy. And y'all are going to be mad at us. And we did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. Yeah, that video. Y'all are going to be mad tomorrow, at us. You're going to be mad at us. And we did nothing wrong. Blown away, mad, scared. Like every emotion happens in this video. And it was, it was unbelievable yesterday. And my plans, what I was saying in the beginning was that I normally don't get to go with you to do all those things. But after that morning, I was like, nope, I'm, le I'm, I'm leaving. I need a break. And it was, it was absolutely insane and all i can think about is that happened then last night while you were at the jl ranch then the cows did crazy things and oh, i started to no, like that was funny so that's in the same day and we're leading up to the eclipse and animals are sensing it before and we i was just gonna say like animals are sensing something is off or something is weird like it was wild of at both properties and totally never before happened things happened yesterday with both sets if i'm telling you like when you see tomorrow's video you are just going to be like Whoa. yeah 
We I and mean, then Lester's video today. I mean, like it was just like Neil Neil Lopez says, "Don't even want a cliffhanger. Just tell. We can tell, but you're not going to believe us. You're not going to get the full effect. I'd be more than happy to tell you. So, well, I don't you know, just tell them. Go ahead. So, I'll, so first of all, the video that I made, the short version for Facebook has already come out. It'll be on YouTube, the long version, in a couple of days. But the short version shows that my bulls broke out of the bullpen to go back with the ladies and for some reason they all all the cows everybody from the bulls to the cows to the heifers to the calves were all just wanting to play house and it was the biggest running disaster of a shit show just it was crazy and then i got the giggles i got the giggles because gary can't run little gary can hop have you ever seen that movie called The White Buffalo? It was with, uh, it was called The White Buffalo. Uh, it was with, uh, the guy's already passed away. White Buffalo. And the, the the graphics were so horrible. It was back in probably the 60s or 70s. And they had a buffalo who was really on a train, mounted on a train. And he ran like this right here. And I, it wasn't Clint Eastwood. Maybe Charleston Heston or something had to go kill the white buffalo. And it was the dumbest graphics ever. And anyone that watched it, you can see the buffalo was on a train. And that was a buffalo. And Gary runs just like that. And I got the giggles watching him run, trying to chase Santana to get some. Gary runs like you, Lester. <laughs> it was Charles Bronson. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> it was Charles Bronson. If y'all want to watch something funny, just go to maybe Google or go to YouTube and type in white mm -hmm. buffalo, Charles Bronson, buffalo running, and it will show y'all this white buffalo. It wasn't a real buffalo. It was their version of trying to create a buffalo. And I was watching that happen yesterday with all of the cows. It was the funniest thing. And... It's a long story. I can't explain it, but that was crazy, and it didn't stop. I was there for probably 30 minutes watching all this unfold, and they kept going pasture to pasture to pasture. It was crazy. But before we left here yesterday, for some unknown reason, Rita comes at a full sprint from the far end of the pond right to the gate. We're watching her. Jamie's videoing her run. I had just put Stormy back in the pasture. This was after you got done lunging her. You were, Rita was lunged, and I had Stormy out and was over on this side of the pasture. I brought Stormy back. They were off to go do their thing, and then... For no apparent reason, Rita runs. She's coming right towards the gate. And typically, closer she will run like that. And closer and closer... And closer and closer. And we're both holding our eyes like, Rita, Rita. And all of a sudden, here's the gate. And she's, pow. Well, so the thing is, she went up like she was going to jump, jump it. it. And she couldn't jump that high. It was and the she, most, like, <sighs> we were in disbelief. Like, full on, like, because Rita will run up to all of the fences. And then she'll turn sideways at the last second. Like, it's a fun game. She tried to jump. She, she wanted to, to jump the entire four foot gate she didn't clear it but she hit it with her chest luckily we have the breakaway latch it wasn't chained or anything the breakaway gave way and the gate popped open and Rita just kept on running like when you see the video you were your minds are going to be blown and then what are you doing? it was it was like a different horse I, i'm telling you and then Storm was right behind her and saw the gate fling open, saw what she did. And Storm turned and was like looking at her, like, What are you what are you doing? We don't do that here. Like it was the most yeah, we have wild we have display. it on video. Jamie will play that tomorrow, yeah. you say. Jamie will play it tomorrow. It was it was crazy. And she's fine, she's fine. But what scared me about that, I told Jamie that if that gate had a if we had had a different kind of latch, a chain latch, or anything else besides a breakaway, and she hit it that hard. That aluminum could have very easily broke. And aluminum, when it breaks, it's like too. It, it could have stabbed it in her. It could have pierced her. I mean, it was that's oh. so scary to us. And 
and we're in disbelief and everything that and and her reason for breaking out was beverly yeah she heard beverly she heard beverly and wanted to see what's going on with beverly yeah it wasn't food. It wasn't running from anyone. Yeah, because once she got out of the gate, she ran over here to Beverly and would not leave. We'd actually catch her and walk her back. And it was not a, a pleasant walk back. She wanted to be with Beverly. And I'm like, oh, my God, what have we got ourselves into? We think that we're trying to solve problems and make our lives easier. <laughs> no, y'all, we just added a whole new uh, variable to the mix with yes. Beverly and Ivy. By the way, they're doing wonderful. Ivy's leg is looking great. Having her here, we can kind of have constant eyes on it. And Jamie and I can both work on her. Um, she's doing great. There's no animals. We have no animals as of as of right now. And I hate to say it, but knock on wood. But all of our babies are doing great. All of the cows are in tip-top shape. All of the horses, voodoo. And you can talk more about that. Might be a little bit iffy. Even Ivy, who was worse off last weekend is doing great now after her vet visit she's wonderful i mean goats and birds and everyone's wonderful y'all we're so blessed that's true but like i say and this the sad thing and the scary thing is that as soon as you say that we already know that life happens and the same way that you and i are both healthy and our kids are healthy and everything's our families are healthy you already know how life goes y'all life is a roller coaster and it's the same for us as with these animals we will continue and there will be something's going to arise something's going to arise but right now as we sit here talking with you all we feel very content and at peace that all the animals are great the dogs the i mean us the humans we're, we're, everything is good y'all we're fine I would say our biggest concerns, the only thing that keeps me from sleeping at night is that darn Facebook. <laughs> I'm sorry, Facebook. I love y'all. I just cannot figure out the darn algorithm for nothing. And Facebook is not. Uh, well, I uh, think so. So things that keep me up are still, I mean, Ivy's not 100% healed. It's not like that, but she's doing better. The medication seems to be working. We don't feel like she has this. Um, impending doom or anything like that and then you mentioned voodoo voodoo's, voodoo's having some tummy stuff today but he also is slower and older and 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 some of those things are catching up with him and then uh wanda uh from her hitting the fence the other day i think that just just slowed her down a little bit. I I don't think she has a true injury. Oh right? no, Wanda's fine. She's, yeah, she's I just back see to normal. people asking that. So. Wanda's great. Yeah, that was an incident uh, that happened. Wanda's fine. I'm we're blessed. It was only her foot area. Uh, a lot of people thought it may have been more of her chest. I look at her. I've double took. I've looked her up and down. She's fine, y'all. There's no blood besides on her little toe. It's kind of like split her toe a little bit. Just a gash. I'm guessing like stomping her toe. That's probably how it felt to her. But she's fine she's it's, eating it's, and it's, it's fine. the wound is closed so. yeah and we have her and the boys are separated now yeah. so she's with tina she's not much safer with tina tina y'all don't get this tina is quite the tina's rough tina can be rough you don't know that about tina y'all have only seen tina like by herself You're, like so dramatic about that tina's not rough the hell she's not tina will run anybody Aunt Tina, Tina Tina is the lead of our girls. She's the alpha girl. So Tina reminds me of Bucky's in the fact that she has a um, a disability, and she makes sure that she's not on bot. So she works extra hard to be top bird, if that makes any sense. Same way that I think that Bucky's works extra hard to not let his blindness affect him, um, and to ensure that that nobody's picking on him. Yeah. But well, Tina's super sweet. But yeah. they're doing fine together. Honest, honestly, they're doing fine together. It's when the boys come in the mix, yeah, and cause problems. I'm just reading. Uh, oh. I'm trying to read the small font on the uh, YouTube, and I can't. Uh, Facebook, right? YouTube, Facebook. Can't read it. Can't read it. You're too far away. Facebook. I see someone screaming Lester with capital punctuation marks and stuff, and I just can't read it. It's just somebody too says far he will later. No, well, it's about blocking somebody. Just oh. just ignore him. Yeah, just ignore those guys. You can't. Isn't that crazy though? About Tina uh, for being the one that is the the only. She's the only true rescue. She's the underdog. Tina yeah. is the rescue. She's the one with the hurt leg. She's or Wanda was the rescue. Wanda was, Wanda was the official rescue 
but who Tina, we thought would give us the most issues. But Tina's Tina has one, turned out yeah. to be the one that has more issues in Wanda. Yeah. And we've actually even asked ourselves, did that guy get these birds confused? Seriously, we really did have, that guy Wanda's never mix had these an birds issue. up. Did he put the band on the wrong leg? Because he he Wanda has never had one thing to slow her down. Not yeah, once. Even from day one, when we loaded these birds up, we saw that Tina had a little bit of boop, 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 boop. Yeah, Tina walks like me. And Wanda was the one that seemed to be fine. Tina and has like structure breakdown because her, so her knee has clearly had an injury to the point that it'll swell up and everything like that. But you can tell that it's not supported the right way because her feet are flat. And when she walks, she has a little bit of a problem with like balance and wobble and that type of thing. And she doesn't, this sounds crazy. She doesn't have arches like the rest of the ostriches do. And I guess that that breakdown either hurt her knee or was from, from the knee breakdown. I'm not sure, but either way, Tina is the one who has the things that we can see and know that she's not a hundred percent. She's kind of the underdog. All right. Give me one second. Bryant keeps asking, would I please answer a question? Okay. Bryant, I am devoting this next question to you. So everyone else, hold on a minute. I am looking for Bryant Snyder has a question. This will be fun. Uh, Bryant, this better be a good one because I pinned your comment and I'm waiting for your question. And I'm lucky I have my number one helper here to help me answer it. So Brian Snyder, this is on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Bryant Snyder on YouTube is going to ask us a question. So I'm ready, Brian. Where is it? I'm waiting for Brian. I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you guys too, Facebook, but I just wanted to pin it because Brian's been trying to ask for a while. And he's being, this is how, this is how kind he's being. Bryant knows that I've always asked you guys to wait towards the end for questions, right? Let us just talk like, a, like friends and family first. And Bryant's been wanting to ask a question for a while. Hey, Chestnut Hills. Oh, Lord. That's high pressure question. Wait, did he already ask it? Jamie, did you see the question? No. Bryant, I didn't see it. If, it. if it came up, I never saw it, Brian. I think Chestnut saw it. Is that Zoe? Yeah. And what's Zoe's husband's name? I only know Zoe. Zoe, I'm so sorry. Just you don't know either. You don't know Zoe's husband's name. Oh. <laughs> See, she would have been mad at me if she doesn't even know. <laughs> ah, that's so funny, Jamie. See? See, Jamie, it happens. To... Brian, I missed your question, brother. I'm so sorry. I don't mind answering a question here and there. No, you're like messing with this is what I'm getting at. Like you're... Everyone's saying Nick. I don't. What, yes, what that's am I? exactly who. It, so Zoe's husband's name is Nick. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we knew that. We knew that. No, I'm, <laughs> my mouth is open simply because, like, oh, you, Brian hasn't asked the question yet. You're Brian, like, you're moving this, and I'm like, you can't even read it. So you're moving it so fast. Okay, so Brian has been asking for a while. He wants to ask a question, but he's being so respectful because he wants to ask it before we end up leaving. And I that's think true. Brian might have left. Brian, I think he left when I pinned his comment. Maybe I embarrassed him. That was not my intention, sir. I pinned your comment so that you would see that I am giving you a chance to ask that question. I'm going to go ahead and unpin it now. So, but Brian, did, go ahead. Go ahead. No, somebody asked if um, if we can give Tina CBD oil. Uh, so I have tried it, and I don't see a lot of result with it, but I'm going to take a guess here and say that, I mean, Tina's three to 400 pounds and ostriches metabolize things much differently. So much different that they don't get antibiotics or they don't get, you know, like they don't have vaccines. Oh no, Jamie Lester, you missed what Brian asked. I, I don't, guys are going too fast. I'm so sorry, Brian. I must've missed it then. Can you ask it again? Or can someone answer it? Ask it for him. Brian's question was, are you answering questions? That was <laughs> no. I, that, I'd want to buy a ball for donkeys with handles, but wanted to know if they, if you think it would be a waste of money. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Okay, I know what you're talking about. It's a toy. Uh, donkeys are very playful in nature, and we have been gifted a few of those. And for some reason, our donkeys, only Donkey Dan is the only donkey who likes to pick up stuff and play with it. Well, hold on. Beverly likes to pick up stuff and play with it, but not that ball. But not that ball. Mm -hmm. So Donkey Dan will pick up his food trough. And we have tried to catch that moment because it's the funniest thing. He'll walk to the food trough. They're made of like a really heavy rubber. Rubber. And he'll pick it up and he'll go. Yeah. And that trough is moving in his mouth. And, I, and I've always tried to grab my camera and capture that. 
and then he'll drop it. Yeah. And so I'm like, do it again, Dan. They, the most that they play with it is when we hang it from the rafters in the barn and they can knock it around. That probably is the most the that those typical those types of balls get played with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beverly wants beer. Brian, if you're going to send beer, Beverly likes beer. <laughs> no, don't send us anything, Brian. I, that was very kind of you if that's what you're asking about. But uh, no, they make those for donkeys and horses. Now, we've never given one of those to Rita. What would she do with it? She, she may had one take her, it and run. No, she had, she one had one pasture, one? yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, but no, I, it would be fun to watch that. The Jolly Ball, they're called. Kendall, yeah. thank you, Kendall. They are called Jolly Balls, and we actually have several of those. Some we've opened. Most we have not because our donkeys and horses don't seem to show them much interest. Like Beverly, Jamie said. Oh, I'm sorry. Beverly will pick up the dog's toys. If the dogs bring a toy out to the pasture, she will pick that up and and play with it there's one specifically that was a stuffed monkey with long legs and that was beverly's most favorite thing and i have no idea whatever happened to that but it is no longer here should probably look into finding another one because beverly loved it that was like her most favorite thing we are trying to spend equal time i don't want to focus only on yeah. what i can read easier you're gonna I'm have i'm reading you're gonna have to be the one to read the smaller font up there with the uh, facebook reading. uh and i'll play around i don't mind answering questions now are we okay to answer questions sure. okay how about we go back and forth you answer one from facebook and i'll grab one from youtube and we'll go back and forth for a little bit before we end the live All is that right. okay liz says can you get a cbd oil uh to rub on tina's leg I have asked uh, Dr. Cochran to help me with some of this research about Tina um, because there's very few ostrich vets in the world um, and a lot of them will be at zoos where they, you have avian vets, but there's not like an ostrich specialist. I assure you there's not. Um, there's a lot of maybes and whatnots. I will tell you that right now Tina's doing pretty well. Tina's struggles are if she gets run too hard. And also um, around uh, big weather changes. So like a drastic drop in temperature will absolutely inflame her. Um, I think that a diet has a lot to do with, with her flare-ups. But overall, like we can't rebuild a knee. We can't rebuild a knee for an ostrich. And, and turns out that their legs are just as critical as our legs. Um, so we're doing our best with her. And there, there's no like imminent, urgent need right now. So um, we're still researching. And Dr. Cochran is, you know, still still reaching out to colleagues and mentors and things like that to see what they know. But most people with ostriches are not raising them as pets like yeah. Lester and I are. Yeah. And that is the difference in what's going on. Yeah. So pretty much for the most part at a zoo or at a wildlife safari or even a bird sanctuary, if a two legged bird like an ostrich has a leg issues, that is normally the end of that bird's life. You can't do a whole lot. You cannot go out there and cast and stuff. Um, a two-legged animal and even though they have made great strides in horses equine equine, mm -hmm. es, es, equine uh even horses y'all the um, amount of money and time and i think they call it traction where they have to literally take the horse and take its weight off of its body and allow it to heal that, those are not facilities that just anybody has. No. So if a horse or a cow, like a little Gary or any of our cows or one of our birds, if they do ever end, them, end up hurting themselves like a break like in a leg. Like catastrophic then, injuries. Then as much as we love them, we would more than likely have to let you all say your, your goodbyes. And we would also have to say our goodbyes and we would find a vet to come out and put that animal down because the amount of money uh, that horses cost. And I've seen some videos because you actually sent me videos. I made a statement recently about you don't put a cast on a horse. You don't put a cast on a cow. Well, little did I know that there are actually people that have. Yeah. Uh, and but the expenses are in the twenty thousand dollar minimum like and those are the those are are normally horses like the stallions that have they want the sperm from for so granted if your horse is of that caliber where you can sell his semen for thousands of dollars then yeah you put them in traction and keep doing what you have to do to gather your samples and it pays for itself 
But for us, just taking rescue horses and trying to give them their best life, that's not what we can do here. There's no way. So cows and horses and birds, let's just hope to God that we never have any issues like that. Um, Annie and Indy, what's the plan? So we've talked about that briefly. Never have Jamie and I sat together and talked about that, but we can if you want to, because my video that I made today over at the sanctuary actually talks about that. And I already know that this is going to be a topic of great debate. And I already know that there's going to be half of you all are going to shoot me the finger when I say what's going to happen. And the other half are going to say, oh, Lord, Lester, you know, but I'm just going to ask that you let us have the chance to try it and see what happens. But on the 13th, which is going to be this upcoming Saturday, Tina, our lady who has been who has our who who shears our alpaca and she's also going to shear our little sheep angel ellie sheep she will be here saturday and once she's done shearing the alpaca jamie and i are going to take and load up indy and annie you heard me correct both of the females we're going to load them together along with probably our little sweet starla our little goat and bring the three of them back here to longhorn lester's we're going to put ernie who's the male and Oki, the other male who we're not able to have fixed yet castrated or, or neutered we will put those two together go ahead no i was so ernie will get fixed but that's a whole other journey as well and well, could i finish up why we have yeah. to be very careful if we leave a female around ernie and Oki, then what Ernie's going to do, y'all, hear me out. And if you want to do your own Google, your own research, then by all means, Ernie will go out there on his own and use his own teeth, and Ernie will neuter his son because of the threat or the worry or the fear. And unfortunately, Oki is getting of age where he's starting to have a very an interest. And ladies. And so the one thing that we cannot have happen is Ernie go out there and self castrate his son. But Oki can't be fixed until after two years because we, of development. We, we have a dilemma. So we, we must remove the ladies from Oki's yeah. life. We so, must. And, and it, until we get Ernie fixed, Ernie can't be in with Indy. And then we have that separation going on. So the most logical sense is to have a, a girl team and a boy team for yeah. a while. And, and we know that we've done girl teams and boy teams yeah. for a while, my friends. We do it with our big birds. We do it with the bulls. Now, granted, the bulls all broke out. Okay, so I can't, I can't say that I know what I'm doing with all of that. But we do know that we have to do something. And so sometimes we have to trial and error. And as I look at you all and I talking to you as a man, as friends, we might be wrong. We might, this might not work, but we have to try. We have to try something. So Annie and Oki are no longer, uh, he's still nursing, but he doesn't have to. He does it just for fun, if you will. But uh, he's ready to be weaned. His mom is trying to wean him. And so we're going to assist that along, separating them. Is Annie going to is help. likely pregnant already, so weaning Oki is is the best for her as well as summer comes up. Um, so I think that that'll be, I think it'll be a smooth, smooth thing. I, I I'm trying to see comments on how many people are upset with me or how many think it might it might work or a horrible idea, and I'm not really seeing a whole lot of negativity right now. Well, I think it also gives each of them an alpaca companion too. I mean, I mean, we had talked about Annie, Ernie, and um, Indy. Oki will be fine with Ernie. We're not concerned with Oki and no. Ernie at all if there's no ladies around. Yeah. And and Oki is it. We're we're probably ahead of the game on it on that anyway. But the situation of Indy still existing and wanting to just give Indy a partner that's a true alpaca partner because right now Indy thinks she's a horse or a donkey and but 
if you notice at the sanctuary, she will follow the alpacas on her side of the fence currently. Yeah. Um, so she wants to be an alpaca and I, and it'll be good for her and Annie to be together over here and be in with the goats. And that still gives our goats here extra layers of protection. It gives the goats at the sanctuary, the alpaca mm -hmm. protection. And we, we do think that Ernie and Oki will be fine because as a matter of fact, at all of the very large farms or ranches, I don't know what you call it, where they raise alpacas, the same place where they raise bulls or they yeah. raise other animals, it's very common to separate your males and females. Yeah. And if the males and females are separated, you don't get all the hormonal things that you get when they're together. But Ernie's still going to get fixed. We're, we're working on those dates as well. Um, so there's so, a lot going on. And, and there's a lot of folks, I can read enough to see that there are people who don't like the idea because you're, if you're like me, we always like our animals to have a partner or someone to, cause, because we enjoy the fantasizing of that part of their a little family and the husband and the wife, and then they had the kids. But in reality, friends, they, they, they're not quite as evolved as we are to like that. So Annie and Ernie have always been a partnership, but Annie is more of a partner to any of her kids as she ever is to Ernie. As a matter she of fact, tolerates him. Ernie just, he kind of, he's tolerated kind of the way a lot of you girls are with your husband. You tolerate them. <laughs> they can, they can tag along if they want to, but they don't have to be there. You're fine with your kids. And it's a whole lot with them as well. So I know that that's going to be rough, but I'd rather talk about it with you here in front of Jamie than just you hear it on the video. And I understand that when we put that video out, there's going to be a lot of criticism. And like I said, we've never done this before. This is all new to us. All we've done is read about it, and we've talked to our alp alpaca, our alpeople, our alpaca experts, the people who have alpaca and what they do and what they recommend. And that is by far the recommendation that's coming up over and over and over. So until Ernie and Oki get fixed, we're going to have to try to figure out a couple of things to do in the meantime. We love them all, and it's not oh, like yeah. we're going to give away those and we're going to give away those. We love them all. And if we had our way, we would just have 150 acres and have everything together. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, y'all. We have to find different places we can kind of accommodate all of the babies and give them their best life. And that's what we're trying to do with the alpaca as well. It's a lot of management. And that's one area that people don't realize is probably one of our biggest struggles is trying to manage not only you and me and then the kids and then the dogs and then, of course, the cats. But there are so many other things going on that we're trying to manage. And then, of course, the videos and the live videos and all of the social media stuff and Jamie's job and everything else. It's a little bit nuts. Anyway, I see that you're being bothered by the flies. Uh, they're, uh, they're all just, over you. Should, well, it's so the light is coming on or the light is attracting them. And then they're what it's not really flies. They're nighttime bugs of some sort. I'm OK. Yeah, I'll be OK. But uh, everything is fine. And like I said, Jamie and I are not too prideful to admit that if we make a mistake, if something's not working out right, if, it, if we you know, if we have to go back and rethink it all through, then we'll go back and we'll revisit it and we'll figure out what we can try. And we have built ourselves on trial or I'm sorry, on mistakes. It, try, not trial and error. What, what we're not no, looking. It's trial and error. Like it's, on on really just being transparent on on what we think is going to work doing our best and then redoing it if we need to redo it i don't know what you call that but to me that's called life yeah and then as far as where the animals get more exposure well i, I would disagree with what a lot of folks are saying but um i know that ellie and megan make tons of videos now you may choose not to watch but that's on you the animals at i'm a survivor or getting plenty of exposure. But um, if you don't choose to watch those channels, then that's on you. That's not on the animals. The animals are getting their exposure. They're getting their love. They're getting the, the attention they deserve. They're getting groomed. They're getting fed. They're getting pastures maintained. They're getting clean, fresh water. But um, yeah, they will be very visible. Very visible. Annie will get more visibility here because of course we're out there with her all the time 
Yeah, I think I think it'll be a neat event. Annie's never been anywhere else besides the sanctuary. Indy has been here and been back, but you know she made that that shuffle. Uh, so I think it'll be neat. Also, because Annie hasn't had a break from Ernie <laughs> or from Oki, and just being able to give her that kind of freedom to you know um, just have a little reset for herself and and to heal from having two babies in a row as well. I think that's going to be really neat to be able to watch. Plus the amount of shade that's here for her uh, will be, I think, refreshing. Yeah. And our alpacas have been with the birds before. Yeah. For those who are concerned about the alpacas and the ostriches, oh, no. they, they, guys, they've been together before back at the sanctuary. Same pastures plenty of times. Plenty of times. They're fine. I see a couple of questions. So Teresa uh, Let me hide this asked me if uh, I received the bonsai tree. I did. It's a gardenia and it's beautiful. It's in my greenhouse. I've shown it a few times whenever I go live from the greenhouse. If you ever see a, a greenhouse happy hour, um, you'll find it on there. I always, I always go across everything and show everything that's in there. And then uh, there was one more question and I forgot what it was now. Uh, yeah, if you're not, oh, am I having any more surgeries? Oh. Sorry. Uh, so I have a surgery in May, and I have another one in August as well. So for now, I'm I'm on a healing healing trend, um, and then I guess it's about six weeks away. No, four weeks away to the next one. Okay. All right, I'm done with my questions now. Well, there's not really any more question questions that I noticed. Um, I'm just looking for specifics, but I will say that Annie has, she will bond with the goats here, but she already knows all of the goats here oh, yeah. because don't forget the goats here spent a lot of time at the sanctuary, uh, not too, too, too long ago. So it's, it's just reunion jar animals. I think are not as they, they adjust very well with each other. And of course we're here, we watch, we can observe what's going on. We know their behaviors, uh, especially if they're not doing well, we pick up on things very quick and we, we will adjust. We, we will figure it all out. I can promise you that. All right. Well, listen, I think that that's most of the questions that we've, we've already answered. Uh, are you getting Gary fixed? We've talked about that a hundred times eventually, but we have to let Gary heal first. He's not ready yet. And um, the alligator at the other property is no longer there. Okay, listen, we love you. And I want to once again apologize for a little bit of the difficulties in getting everything set up this morning. But uh, we're going to try to figure everything out with Facebook. YouTube, thank you for being patient. And Facebook, we are working with you. Just know that we're not leaving you, okay? We are not leaving you. It'll be Facebook that's pushing us out the door. We're not pushing you away. They're pushing us away. But we are trying. We're going to fight for tooth and nail to keep up with our Facebook for as long as we can. And with that being said, I'm done. I'm going to let Jamie finish it up and wrap it all up and give you all something to think about as you go your merry ways. And uh, brace yourself for tomorrow. What's going to happen? We don't know. Well, I was just going to say, if you're in the path of totality tomorrow, that you remain safe because it's probably going to be very crowded where you are. Uh embrace your once in a lifetime event that that we will never see in that same exact path again and um, stay safe and stay well make smart choices about if you're getting out and about and that type of thing and just be aware of your surroundings uh, Lester and I will be here and we promise to share all the things that we possibly can Jamie there's three moons there's three moons everyone's saying there's three moons look y'all <laughs> those are not those are our string lights y'all those are not the moon everyone's freaking out because there's three moons those are our string lights friends <laughs> dang it Jane, we could we could have pulled that one off that'd have been a fun video oh lord only you i know hey i read it in the comment oh, we love y'all so much i will stop youtube if you will stop the facebook up there facebook, we love you so much thank y'all we love you. Good night. Appreciate you guys. And uh, we will get all of this Facebook stuff figured out. But um, don't y'all wish that it could all be as easy as it is with face with YouTube. I swear I do. But hey, thank y'all for watching. We love you much. And we will talk to you on the next video. Good night, y'all. Bye, y'all.
Okay.